hello guys welcome to my channel in this video uh, I'm gonna show you how you can make this morphing effect Loki morphing effect if you see the movie the series Loki you can see there are some transformation effects so I have created this uh, transformation effect from scratch so well, now we'll create together this transformation effect so let's get started the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I don't delete the default cube I'm gonna add a monkey like this a monkey head and add a subdivision sub surface modifier and uh, shade it smooth and select the cube and go to edit mode and subdivide it a couple of times like this you can see now we have a cube and we have a monkey so our goal is to transform this cube into this monkey so uh, the first thing is I'm gonna add a material it has already have a material the cube I'm gonna add uh, the material to the monkey that material again so this both objects up to the same materials so the next thing is uh, I'm gonna add an empty empty sphere like this and scale it up and down like this you can see we have created a sphere so the next thing is uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna add a vertex group for both this uh, not vertex group vertex color for the cube and the monkey to do that i'm gonna select the cube and go to object data properties and set a vertex color and select the monkey and add another vertex color and the revealing object at this uh, point is the monkey so we'll add different vertex color to the monkey to do that i'm gonna go to vertex paint mode oh sorry first select this and hide this by pressing h and select the monkey and go to vertex paint mode and add a black mask or whatever you want let's say a reach like this and press shift plus key now we have a scent not reach a i don't know what color is it sorry this color any anyways assign this color uh, or wherever you want wherever color you want assign that color so we have assigned this color to the monkey next go to object mode and unhide the cube now we have assigned the material and the, the vertex color the next thing is uh, we're gonna add the shader to the object so grab this bottom uh, box and add a shader editor select this object and now uh, to make that effect first we need to think what texture to reveal that uh, effect so the uh, the effect i'm gonna use the texture to make that effect i use this a gradient texture so i'm gonna add by shift plus a and add a shader and not shader texture and gradient texture like this and texture add a texture coordinate texture coordinate like this so uh, select the object and connect it to the gradient texture and go to the viewport shading and select this and control shift left click uh, it doesn't work if you don't uh, apply the node wrangler add-on so make sure to enable the node wrangler add-on as the edit and preferences the next thing is to control this uh, effect first it is uh, linear 
but we don't want it we want a spherical shape and to control this i'm gonna add a color ramp converter and color ramp like this now we can see nothing is happening because uh, first we must assign an object to control this uh, effect so select the object and select the empty now when i scale up the empty and down you can see we have now controlling the texture of uh, the object so the next thing is uh, we have now assigned the empty but it is a uh, two uh, it is very gradient so to make it a little bit sharp i'm gonna drag it this like this and it is also spherical and it is not uh, irregular so to make it irregular i'm gonna add another texture coordinate by pressing shift plus e and input texture coordinate and add wherever you want texture uh, in this case i'm gonna use a noise texture you can use this a Voronoi, a wave and anything you want but in this case i'm gonna use a noise texture and in this case add a generated and add a factor uh, first we gonna add we must add a mix rgb so uh, i will connect the object data into this color and the noise color into this and change the factor to overlay where is it overlay uh, here and connect this color into the vector now if you scale it up you can see we have made this cool looking uh, gradient texture effect so uh, the next thing is select the cube and add another color ramp by pressing shift plus a and uh, this is this is the emission part and this is the invert part so to make the emission part more uh, attractive i'm gonna add this as black and add another texture and add another color ramp and add this color to anything you want the emission to be i like this color so i'm gonna choose the the blue color the blue or purple color and add this and change attach it to the factor and uh, to make the monkey reveal we need to invert this uh, mask so i'm gonna add an invert uh, <coughs> invert node sorry and connect this to color into color so it has now inverted to the monkey and add this to by mix rgb node Oh, sorry, I have made a mistake. Sorry, my MXR GB node and connect the color to the color and this color to the color to end uh, control by a factor of a vertex color. So add a vertex color, vertex color, and add it to the factor. and add the vertex color we added before and connect it to the alpha and this to the emission so we want the effect to be an emission effect so 
to connect this to the emission and increase the emission by this now we have finished the revealing effect you can see we have finished the revealing effect the next thing is we need to make it happen to make it happen first I'm gonna control shift left click this and it will update that and select the MPT you can see it has not happening and go to this object mode and select the cube and go to object mode and enable bar curling and close the blend mode and the shadow mode change it to alpha hashed now if i scale it up no that's uh if i scale the mpt you can see the object is revealing so the next thing is uh, select this object let's and okay, drag it like this to make it more visible now scale it up yeah now as you can see the effect and select the cube and make the material base color like uh, orange color like this and select the monkey again and duplicate the material and change it to blue now when i move the empty when i scale it up you can see it will reveal like that now select the cube again and it decrease the roughness and select the monkey again decrease the roughness you can see now if i select the mpt and scale it up you can see the revealing effect so the next thing is uh, we're gonna add the plane and we make the lights so i'm gonna scale it up uh, no um, add the plane not circle sorry not cube delete the cube add a plane and scale it up and grab it in the z direction like this yeah next i'm gonna go to edit mode and select the edges and these two edges and extrude it in the z direction and select these edges and bevel them by pressing ctrl plus b and increase the bevels by scrolling the wheel up and go to object mode and shade it smooth add uh, and shade the cube also smooth now the next thing is i'm gonna delete this light and add area light grab it in the direction and increase the thickness and uh, increase the power to about 500 and make object constraint to this this uh, light so change it to track to and track to this object now duplicate the light and move it in this place and again select this light and duplicate it again and move it about this direction now we have finished the lighting part the next parting is to animate the cube and the morphing effect 
to do that I'm gonna change it to a timeline and set this to about 100 and at uh, frame 1 select the empty and scale it down until it, the effect is nothing so after scaling it down I'm gonna insert the keyframe location rotation scale and go to key 100 about 100 and select the MPT and scale it up until the moon key is in and after that again insert keyframe location rotation scale now we can see the animation yeah this is the animation part it is very easy so if you have any question about this tutorial or anything uh, you can leave them in the comment below if you like the video please make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial thanks